The next point there is sub template. So the concept is sub template here, calling a template from other template. So yesterday we have seen already uh, one XML publisher we submitted. If we go to XML publisher, then data definition. So here is the place. ITM. Okay. I'll check the program. I think this is the one. I will take this also, not an issue. We, we know the short name here. This is a short name, short code. Go to templates. I'm identifying the old template. Okay. And this is not a sub template, it's a main template. Now, this ITM AR credit memo report, this is the main template. From this, we need to call a sub template. So, for that, what you have to do is you can go to templates again there is a create template option is required. So before that, just go to your file. This is the file name, make a copy of it. If you want, you can declare this. Declare, first step is declaring, by using a template keyword, template and identifier here. So identifier, we can say uh, ITM sub, I'm just mentioning like this. If this is the name of the sub template, with this portion. So we declared this. After declaring, if you preview it, it will not be able to help you the output here. See, it is not showing anything. Even if you load the data also, I'm just looking the file. We can take the file from application also. Oops. Receivables. I'm finding that request ID, just F11, control F11. So go to diagnostics, view XML here to get the XML. So this, I think I saved somewhere. Maybe extension I have not given. That's how issue it seems. ITM, AR, CM, dot XML. Now it will definitely appear. Okay, my point here is in this file, if you load that XML file also, 
it will not show any output due to the syntax. So it will not show any. If you take out the syntax and preview, definitely it will give you the output. See, like that. You remember all this. These are all the mistakes and you will stuck somewhere. If you want, you can put for identification only. This is sub template. Like that. Forget about this layout and all. This is the first step. Now, second step is what it is. You need to register this into application under a same data definition. You should not go on your own uh, own data definition. The same data definition we should give here. Okay, create template. Data definition must be same. And code we can give here at the end sub for identification. Sub template. Here also sub. And this is the receivables. Sub template, we have to make it as yes. Otherwise, it will fail in picking. So as of now, we have not taken this. Yes. Browse. Now take this file. English language. Even though it is an optional, you take this territory. And apply. So the uploaded file is an invalid. The file should be an RTF. Sorry. I am supposed to upload RTF. By mistake, I uploaded XML. Uh, but we should apply copy this one. Second template it is, not first one. Apply. So second step is also over here. Now, what we have to do is in the main template, we need to import that. So go to main template here. This is the main template. At server, it should happen. So import command is required. And this is a short name of XML publisher. This is a short name of application name. In case of receivable application, we don't know. So we have to go here, go to system administrator, application, register, receivables, it is an AR, AR we have to take here. This is for payables, so that's why SQL AP. If you look at payables, short name, SQL AP. Okay, in this case, it is an AR. And this one is sub template code, it is. Sub template code, we already mentioned somewhere here. This is the one, this entire code. Make sure it should not have a spaces. These are all we have to remove. And here also we have to remove. Remove the space, be careful about this. And this is an English language. Your RTF is designed in English language. This English. And this is the US, short form we have to give, United States. Okay, this is the way we can import it. After that importing, we have to call this template wherever you want it. For calling, there is a call command and sub template code. So, sub template code is this one uh, sub template identifier. That's it. Remove this. Over. Now, this modified RTF we have to upload into the server. To the main one. This is a sub template. Be careful about this sub template option. Take the same data definition. Go to data definition. 
go. Okay. Now same here, right? Templates. Go. This is the sub, this is the main. Go to main template and modify that with the RTF, modified RTF. It is ITM. This one. Apply. So this is the way actually we can modify. There are four steps we completed before submitting it. Let me revise for you. First step is we have to create a RTF and declare as a sub template. So by using a template keyword, this is the first step. And second one is go to application here. Go to application and go back to templates. Here is the place we created a template by taking sub template as yes and upload that modified one. And now next is your main, uh, your sub template is in the server. That is the reason why we have to import it. So for importing, there is a keyword here, import XML publisher short name, sub template code, dot language, dot territory, and call that sub template. And finally update this into main RTF. Go back here, main RTF. Here is the place. This is the modified one. Now, if, if you submit it, it will call automatically. Now go to receivables. We So the moment you take here layout, it will pick automatically. If you click on options here, check the templates. So it is saying here variable global prior computer program does not exist. Okay, that's okay. You remove this. What we will do, we'll take freshly again. Yeah. Now there will not be any other layout. Sub template will not appear here. Remember this point. Submit. No. Fine. Calling a template from other template is called as a sub template. Just only one line, but to execute, I to call this template. Let's preview this. Uh, if you click on view output, can you see guys? This is sub template. So this portion is coming from other template and this is the main template. This output contains two parts. One is one template output, another one is other template output. 